the toes and the heels to touch nicely side by side. I'm so happy to have you here today joining me with in this class. The nice is not, the room is finally getting nice and warm. So we're gonna get started. It's gonna be nice, warm, steamy, sexy, hot yoga. Let's do it. Bring your toes and your heels to touch nicely side by side. Interlock your fingers underneath your chin. Nicely contact between your shoulders, chin. Looking forward, concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Stretch your spine up. Fill up your lungs all the way to the top. Exhale. Bring your elbows forward, squeeze the palms, elbows touch, inhale. Chin down, elbows up, stomach, 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 suck it in, stretch up. Full lungs, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nice and tight hips. Stretch your spine. Full lungs. Exhale. Inhale. Elevate your spine. Fill up all the way to the top. Exhale. Inhale. lungs, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, and that's enough, second set, toes and heels nicely touching, interlock your fingers, keep the contact with your knuckles, your chin and your throat, Remember to always keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Your spine is elongated, nice and hips are tight, your glutes are tight, everything solid from your waist down. Looking forward, concentrate one more time. And let's begin. Inhale, elbows up. Fill up your lungs so much, you see the rib cage in the front mirror. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Arms down to your sides. Motion your lips and swallow a couple of times. We're going to start now with the asanas, half and pose and hands to feet pose, bring your toes and your heels nicely to touch, skin to skin, inhale arms over the head, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, palms nice and tight, arms and head back, chest up, chin up, lock your elbows, stretch up, fill up your lungs, move your body right left, just a couple times, right left, right left, just to feel your body, right left, right left, right left, feel the stretching, down both sides of the body, and stop in the center. Lock your elbows, arms and head back, chest up, chin up, concentrate one point. Reach your hips a little bit forward and upper body back more. Take a deep breath, in off your lungs, stretch up under your waist, touch the ceiling, hold the breathing, go slowly gentle to the right. No bending elbows or knees, keep pushing the hips to the left and breathe. Two shoulders facing the front, two hips facing the front. Open up your chest, squeeze the palm, lock your elbows, push hips to the left more, feel the stretching in the left side from your fingertips to the toes, all over, inside out, keep breathing, push the hips, come down, then push, 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 change, come up, 
Stop in the middle, inhale through legs, stretch up. Touch the ceiling, go slowly. Gentle to the left. No bending elbows or knees. Nice and locked. Two hips facing the front, two shoulders. Squeeze the palms, lock your elbows. Push the hips to the right. Feel the stretch in the right side. Inside out bones to the hips. Breathe. Squeeze the palms, come down, push, push, push. Change, come up. For the first back bending, take a deep breath and drop your head back. Look at the ceiling. Keep your palms nicely together, lock your elbows, inhale, lift up, and go back. Come up. Stop in the middle, lift up, stomach again. Flat back, go down. Bend your knees if you need to. Arms and head together. Touch the floor. And move your hips right, left, right, left, right, left. 10 to 15 times. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Remember to breathe continuously, in and out through your nose. It's gonna be a little tougher for me to breathe while I'm talking. But I try my best to keep you on time. All right, let's get back to our Padahastasana, toes and heels nicely touching. Bend your knees slightly or a lot. Grab your heels from behind. Let's scooping up your heels. Bring your two little baby fingers touching side by side and your elbows behind the calf muscles. Nice and tight grip, don't let go. And pull. As hard as you can. Stretch your body down. From the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach to your thighs, chest to your knees, and your face below the knees. Pull harder. Push the knees back. Try to lock your knees. Feel the stretching inside our bones of the skin. Coxes to your heels. Breathe. Push the knees back. Lock your knees. Touch your face. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Lock your knees. Last chance. Lock your knees. Change. Come up slow. Stomach again. Bend your knees. Stomach again. Arms and head together. Come up slow, 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 slow. Stretch up. Exhale. Arms down. And breathe. Couple of breaths. Good, let's do the second set. Those in touching, inhale, arms up. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, squeeze the palms, lock your elbows. Arms and head back, chest up, chin up. Concentrate again, one more time. Take a deep breath, stretch up. Touch the ceiling, stretch your spine, head, everything up. Go slowly. To the right, no bending elbows or knees, push hips to the left. Lock your elbows, arms back, chest up, chin up. Make sure you can breathe to shoulders. Two hips, both facing the front. Bring your right shoulder forward a little bit to open up your chest and your left foot forward. Adjust yourself. Squeeze the palm, lock your elbows, no bending the knees. Push the hips a little bit more to the left, go to your edge, come down and push, push, push. Change, come up, stop in the middle, bring the palms to touch again, no separation, squeeze them. Lock your elbows, inhale, switch up. Touch the ceiling, go slowly to the left. No bending elbows or knees, push the hips to the right, arms back, chest up, chin up, keep breathing. To hips, to shoulders. Open up your chest. Bring your left shoulder forward, open up. Right hip forward, lock your elbows. Push the hips, no bending the knees. Come down, push, push, push. Inhale, come up. Stop in the middle for the second back bending. Take a deep breath and drop your head back. Looking at the ceiling, readjust your palms again. They'll be nice and strong palms. Squeeze them together. Lock your elbows. No bending your knees. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Stretch up. Fill up your lungs and go back.
switch up, go down. Move your hips, right, left, right, left, right, left. Move your hips, right, left, right, left, right, left. To get your spine nice and loose, easy, comfortable, flexible. Relax your shoulders. Maybe you need to squat a little bit. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, let's do the Padhastasana, hands to feet pose, bring your toes and your heels to touch nicely, side by side again. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind, step on all of your five fingers of each hand. With your two little baby fingers touching side by side, it's like you're scooping up your heels. Elbows behind the calves, hold it nice and tight, don't let go. Pull as hard as you can, stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Stomach to your thighs, chest to your knees and your face below the knees. Pull harder, pull more, touch your face. Feel the stretching, you have to feel it in the back of your legs, inside out bones of the skin, cuts through your heels. Keep pulling, you can hear my breath. You have to pull and breathe, push your knees back. Touch your face, lock your knees. Eyes open, breathing normal, lock your knees. Push the knees back, lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees. Change, come up slow. Stomach in. Full arms. Stretch up, exhale, arms up. Breathe. Ukatasana upward, right foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Your heels are invisible behind your toes. Your feet, like a perfect capital H or number 11. You can measure the distance with two fists in between, approximately. This is about the right distance for your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, elbows locked. Your tricep muscles are nice and tight, nice thing loose, nothing hanging, strong fingers. Stretch forward, touch the marrow. Well, if you have one, I have one. Exhale, breathing stomach in and sit down. Feet flat position, 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest up, bend your spine backwards, suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in. Open your knees six inches between your feet, knees, hands, chest up, chin up, rib cage visible, lean back, fall back, way back, change, come up. Keep your arms there, stand up on your toes. Maximum, like a ballerina. A tremendous focus, a tremendous concentration. Don't even blink your eyes. Use your abdominal muscles. Inhale, stretch up. Stomach in, sit down. On top of your toes. Keep your spine in straight position, hips and head nice and straight, spine. Knees up, heels up. You're sitting on the chair, not below the chair, get higher on your toes. Change, come up. Relax the heels. Third part, come up a little bit on the toes. Bring your knees together. Exhale, stomach in and slowly you go down. Shoulders back, chest up, spine straight. All the way down, all the way down. Leaning against the wall. Keep half an inch gap between heels and hips. Keep stretching your spine, shoulders back, chest up, elongating of your spine. Engage your abdominals, keep it nice and strong. Squeeze the legs. Inhale, come up, squeeze and come up, spine straight. Heels down, feet together. Breathe. Second set, left foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind your toes, your feet are perfect. Capital H, or number 11. Nice, strong feet on the ground. Bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, elbows locked, tricep muscles tight, solid, strong arms, nothing loose. Stretch forward, touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing, stomach nice, compact. Use your abdominal muscles. Exhale, and stomach in, sit up. Sit into the chair until your hips touch your chair. Lift your chest up, 
Bend your spine backwards. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in. Open your knees, 16 inches. Between feet, knees, hands, chest up, chin up. Rip catch visible. Lean back, fall back, way back, change. Come up. Keep your arms there. Second part on the toes. Stretch your spine, head, chest, everything up. Imagine I'm pulling your hair up toward the ceiling. You can't even blink your eyes. You have to stay strong. Focus. Exhale. Stomach in. Sit up. On top of your toes. Keep your spine straight. High on your toes. Knees up. Heels up. Spine straight. You're sitting on the chair, not below the chair. Change. Come up. Relax the heels. Third part. Come up. On the toes a little. Knees together. Squeeze the thighs. Exhale, stand again. Go down, spine straight. All the way down, all the way down. Half an inch gap between heels and hips. Stretch your spine, shoulders, back, chest up. Keep breathing. Test your balance only if you have good knees. If you want to try the balance, up and down, 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 stop in the upswing. Inhale for lungs, stretch up. Heels down, feet together, arms down. Nice and deep breath, everybody, breathe. Garudarasana Eagle. Identify your arms, right and left. Don't mix them up. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, bring the right arm under the left. Cross your arms to each other and twist like ropes, hands in front of your face. Thumbs toward your face, baby fingers towards the mirror. Pull your elbows down until your fingertips go below your nose, not higher than your nose. If you're a beginner, you may interlace your fingers to get a nice tighter grip. Advancing students, you know who you are, keep your palms in prayer position. Pull your elbows down, stomach in, sit down into the chair, lift your chest up. Inhale, lift right leg, high over the left. Twist your legs like ropes. Get your right foot underneath the calf. Sit lower, squeeze more. In the gap between ankle and calf muscle. Now you can move your knees a little bit to the right upper body left. Get your feet, knees, elbows, hands in the center. Sit down lower, squeeze more. Pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in more. Arch your spine at the end. Change. Inhale, arms up. Add your exhale, left arm under the right. Cross your arms each other, twist like ropes, hands in front of your face, thumbs toward your face, baby fingers to the mirror. Pull your elbows down hard, exhale, breathing stomach again. Sit down into the chair, lift your chest up, inhale, breathing, lift left leg, high over the right, twist your legs like ropes. Get your left foot underneath the calf, sit low and squeeze. To get your feet, knees, elbows, hands in the center of your body, sit lower. Squeeze more. Pull your elbows down more. Suck your stomach in more. Arch your spine at the end. Change. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, second set, right arm under the left. Cross your arms to each other, twist like ropes. Hands in front of your face. Pull your elbows down. Exhale, stomach again, sit into the chair, lift your chest up, inhale, lift right leg high over the left. Twist your legs. Get your foot underneath the calf, sit low and squeeze. Pull your elbows down, sit down lower. Pull your elbows down, get your foot, knee, elbow, hand in the center, sit down lower. Stomach again more. Arch your spine again. Change. Inhale, arms up. Add your exhale, left arm under the right. Cross your arms each other, twist like ropes, hands in front of your face, pull your elbows down, exhale, stomach again, sit down into the chair, lift your chest up, inhale, lift, left leg high, over the right, twist your legs, sit down low and squeeze, pull your elbows down lower, sit down lower, suck your stomach again, and on your feet, knee, elbow, hand in the center, fantastic posture to lubricate your 14 major joints of your body, seven on each side. Sit lower, pull your elbows down, arch your spine at the end, change. Inhale, arms up. 
Add your exhale, arms down. Breathe a couple times. Now let's have some water. Party time. Where's my water? There it is. Whew. All right. I'm very thirsty. I normally don't drink so much when I practice, but uh, talking and practicing is a very different uh, energy that I'm using. We're going to continue now with the balance and series on one leg. We make the focus, the concentration. Remember your foundation, your standing leg must be strong. Focus on your balance. Please read your body weight all over your standing leg. Learn to use the very strong leg. Contract your thigh, hip, glute, cuff. Your entire foot, strong. All right, let's do the first step. Toes and heels nicely touching, wipe your hands. Shift the weight to your left leg, interlock your fingers nice and tight, grip webbing to webbing. Lift the right leg up, rounding up the spine, nicely engage, engage abdominals. Lift the right leg up and grab the foot in front of you below the toes. Include your thumb underneath the foot. From start to finish, focus, concentrate, meditate. Your standing leg is solid, concrete, unbroken, lampos. You have no knee. Inhale, lift your leg up. Until the leg is parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in from the ankle towards your face. All five toes turning in, keep kicking out. Shoulders back, chest up. Standing leg strong. If both legs are locked, then only elbows down. Eventually, elbows below the calves. Check. Release. Shift the weight to the right leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock your fingers. Nice side grip. Lift the left leg up and grab the foot in front of you. Rounding up the spine. Engage your abdominals. Right below the foot. Underneath the foot. Standing leg solid, concrete, unbroken. You have no knee. Press the big toe down. I had to do it right now. Take a deep breath. Inhale, lift the leg up. Kick your heel out. Turn your toes in from the ankle towards your face. All five toes turning in. Keep kicking the heel up. Standing leg solid, strong. Keep breathing. If both legs are locked, then only elbows down. Eventually, in the future, elbows go below the cuffs. Change. Slowly reverse. Do a little half back bend if you like. I like to move my hips a little bit left and right. Good. Grab your little breath. I'm definitely out of breath. Let's do the second set. Toes and heels nicely touching. Shift the weight to the left leg, nice strong leg. Lift the right leg up, stomach in, grab the foot. And focus. Concentrate, meditate, standing leg solid, concrete, unbroken, inhale, breathe and lift. Kick your heel out, toes in. Both legs locked, elbows down. If your elbows are ready below the calf muscle, want to do the third part, only if you can, both legs are locked. Tuck your chin, look at your knee. Touch your forehead to the knee. Change. Do it slower if you can. If not, stay on the second part. All right, let's shift the weight to the other leg. Right leg nice and strong, solid. Lift the left leg up and grab the foot. Solid, concrete, unbroken, no knee. In a lift. Until the leg is parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg lock. Kick your heel out, toes in, stretching your Achilles tendons. If both legs are locked, then only. And was down. And if you're ready for the third part, only if you're ready. Tuck your chin, look at your knee, you can at least try. I'm gonna try. Change. I tried, you guys, it's not easy, even for the teacher. All right. Done and done. Let's continue. Standing while pulling pose. 
Toes and heels nicely touching. Bring your right hand up, palm facing up, elbow with the body. Turn your hand up to the right. Bring your hand down, grab the foot from the inside at your ankle. All of your five fingers with this grip. Strong grip. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder. Knees together, standing leg locked. Inhale, stretch up and charge. Charge forward and kick. Charge forward and kick. Two shoulders in one line, two feet. Bring the body down more and stretch forward. Keep the leg, keep stronger. Keep breathing. Body down more, stretch and kick. Kick. Kick, change, come up. Other side, toes in the stretching. Bring your left hand up, palm facing up. Turn your hand to the left, reach down, grab the foot. Strong grip. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder, knees together, standing leg locked. Inhale, stretch up, charge. Charge forward and kick. Charge forward and kick. Two shoulders in one line, two feet in one line. Stretch forward. Standing leg solid. Relax your left shoulder, keep that stronger. Body down more. Kick higher. Kick stronger, keep breathing. Stretching, kick, 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 change, come up. <sighs> Second set, toes and heels touching. Bring your right hand up, palm facing up, elbow with the body, turn your hand to the left, to the right, don't turn your hand. Bring your hand down, grab the foot. From the inside, strong grip. Left arm up. Chin close to the shoulder, knees together, standing leg locked, the inhale, stretch up, and charge. Kick higher, body down more, stretch forward, kick more, kick, 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 change. Toes and heels nicely touching. Bring your left hand up, palm facing up, elbow with the body. Turn your hand to the left, don't turn your hand. Bring your hand down, grab the foot. Strong grip, don't let go. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder, knees together, standing leg locked. Inhale, stretch up, charge. Charge forward and kick. Body down and kick. Keep kicking, don't stop. Body down. Stretch forward, kick higher, kick stronger, kick, 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 change, come up. Breathe. Two little dots and a balancing stick. Let's go to the back of the mat. Bring your toes and your heels to touch nicely side by side. In arms up. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers again, nice and tight grip, like in half moon. Arms and head back, chest up, chin up, lock your elbows. A tight body is an easier body, you have to engage every muscle. Right leg steps forward, big step. Lock both knees and charge. Body down, leg up. Body down, leg up. Stretch forward and stretch back. Contract every muscle, stretch, stretch. Stretch, change, come up. Keep your arms there, toes and heels touching. Stretch up, left leg forward. Lock both knees and charge. Body down, leg up. Body down, leg up. From the side, your capital T, no broken umbrella. Stretch forward and stretch back. Contract every muscle, pointed toes. Stretch, 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 change, come up. Exhale, arms down. And breathe, there you Breathe. Second set, toes and heels touching, inhale. Arms up, let's do this. Squeeze the palms, lock your elbows, arms in the back, chest up, chin up, stretch up. Right leg forward, big step. 
Lock both knees. Point your toes to the back and go. Body down, leg up. Body down, leg up, body down, leg up, body down, leg up. Arms up, arms up, arms up. Leg up, leg up, leg up. Stretch, 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 change. Arms in the back, chest up, chin up, stretch up. Left leg forward, big step. By the way to the front leg, point your back toes and charge. Bring your body down and leg up. Body down, leg up. Arms with the ears, shoulders are supposed to burn. Stretch forward and stretch back. Stretch, 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 change, come up. Exhale, arms up. And breathe. Breathe, yes. Awesome, let's do the separate leg stretching posture. Here we go. Let's step to the left of the mat. Toes and heels nicely touching. In arms over the head, right leg to the right, big step, four feet between your heels, bring your arms down parallel to the floor, bring your two heels nicely in one line, and your two feet slightly your toes in, heels out like a pigeon toe, no bending the knees, nice strong legs, arms parallel to the floor, shoulders back, chest up, spine straight, exhale and slowly go down, chin forward, look forward, spine straight, Knees are locked. If you are a beginner, you can put your hands on the floor if your knees are bending. If your knees are not bending, you're going to try to reach the sides of your feet, grabbing your heels, including your thumbs. If you cannot grab your heels yet, you can try the sides of the feet. If your knees are bending, remember, just put your hands down. All right, let's grab the heels if you can, all five fingers included. Lock your knees, that means strong legs, contract your thigh muscles, advancing students, elbows close to the shins. And now pull as hard as you can. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor, roll forward like a wheel. Keep pulling. Pull more. Feel the stretch in the back side of your legs. Inside out bones to the skin. Put it to the skin. First, your legs will stretch. Then your hips will stretch. Then your lower spine, your middle spine, your whole spine will stretch. One day in the future, your whole body stretching. Inside out bones to the skin, cuts to your heels with the forehead touching between your feet. Roll forward, chin forward, touch your forehead on the floor. Change, come up, slow. To come out, you can put your hands down. I do this all the time for safety because I'm not a very uh, noodle flexible girl. Toes in, bring your toes in a little bit more. Safety comes first, then come up. Engage your abdominals, nice and strong, slow. Right leg back, exhale. Arms down. Mm, and breathe. This feels so delicious. Ah, feels good. Second set. Those in the stretching. Inhale. Arms over the head. Right leg to the right. Big step again. Four feet or three feet if you're extra advanced. Heels out slightly. Toes in. Exhale. Stomach in. And you go down, chin forward, looking forward. Keep your spine straight, no bending the knees. If you're ready, grab your heels. If you cannot grab your heels, including your thumb with the grip, grab the sides of the feet. However, your heels has to feel a strong grip. Imagine you're holding on to a tennis ball. That's how strong your grip should be. Elbows close to the shins if you're advanced. If you're not quite there yet, your knees are still bending, remember, put your hands down. This is a very good place to get started. And then, as you progress, you're going to learn to push the knees back more. Just to show you nicely, unlocking. It takes a lot of work to stretch calves, legs. A lot of work this part. All right, let's grab the heels. Nice, strong grip. Thumbs included, elbows close to the shins. And now let's pull as hard as we can. Stretch, 
Stretch as hard as you can. From the lower spine towards the floor, roll forward. Bring the body weight more to the toes. Remember, not on the heels, we're bring the body weight to the toes. Roll forward. Keep pulling, elbows close to the shins. First, your legs will stretch. Then your hips will stretch. Your lower spine, your middle spine, your whole spine will stretch. Eventually, in the future, your whole body stretching 360 degrees. Inside out, bones to the skin, roll forward, chin forward, touch your forehead between the feet. Change, come up. Nice and safe. Inhale, come up, stomach again. Slowly, head up last, right leg back, exhale, arms down. Breathe. So good, this feels yummy. All right, let's do the Trikonasana, triangle pose. Toes and nose nicely touching, inhale, breathing, arms over the head. Right leg steps to the right, a big step, four feet. Immediately, arms down, parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, no compromising. It has to be four feet, guys. You already know. No three feet, no two feet. Uh-uh. Four feet. Nice open legs. Now, here we go. Arms parallel to the floor. Hips forward, upper body back. Turn your right foot out to the right until the right foot exactly parallel to the front. Inhale. Bend your knee, bring your hips down. Bounce. Bounce. You want to bounce a little bit to bring the hips down. Already, your left hip slightly forward. Open chest, spine straight in the center. Inhale, move both arms. Bring your right elbow in front of the right knee. Fingertips only if you can. Bring him down more. Look up. Chin to the shoulder, profile of your face visible. Take a deep breath and stretch. Both arms up and down in opposite direction. Push the right knee back. Push the left hip forward, turn and twist your spine. Left knee lock, left foot flat. Come up. Right toes in, left toes out. Until your left foot exactly parallel to the front. You want to pay very close attention to your feet. This part is crucial. Your feet, see this foot exactly parallel to that side, and this foot exactly parallel to this edge of the mat. All right, inhale, bend your knee, bring your hips down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We want to bring the hips down so low that one day your thigh will be exactly parallel to the floor like an upside down and like Linda. If you're not quite there yet, it's okay. Open up your chest, spine straight. Inhale, move both arms. Bring your elbow in front of the knee if possible. If you're not quite there yet, no worries. Just stay where you can. Don't let the left hip come up. Right hip come up. Look up toward the ceiling. Switch up. Move both arms up and down in opposite direction like a natural human type of war. Push the left knee back with the help of your elbow and right it forward. Turn and twist your spine. Right knee lock. Right foot flat. Come up. Left toes in. Right leg back. Exhale. Arms down. And breathe. It's quite tough. All right, we have sec second set. We're almost there, guys. We got it. We got this. We're almost there in the standing series. I'm gonna break this down. Standing series first. Toes and heels touching. Inhale, arms over the head. Right leg to the right. Four feet. Immediately arms down, parallel to the floor. Hips forward, upper body back. Spine straight. Turn the foot up. Nice and strong. Facing. The foot parallel to the front. Inhale, bend your knee, bring your hips down, bounce, bounce, bounce. Bring your hips down low, open chest. Inhale, you must breathe. Move both arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the knee. Look up, chin to the shoulder, profile of your face. Inhale, stretch up. Both arms stretching each other up and down. Push the right knee back, push the left hip forward. Turn and twist your spine. Left knee lock, left foot flat. Come up, right toes in. Left toes out until the foot exactly parallel to the front. Inhale, bend your knee, bring your hips down, bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Just to bring your hip down. This is to help you open up your hips and pelvis, guys. This is extremely hard to do. So just bring the hips down as low as you can and stay there. Open chest, spine straight. Inhale, move both arms. 
Bring your left elbow in front of the knee. Look up, chin to the shoulder. Take a deep breath and stretch up. Use your strength. Use your breath to stretch your right arm up and your left arm stretching down, both shoulders stretching each other up and down. Push the left knee back. Push the right foot forward. Turn and twist your spine. Right knee lock, right foot flat. Come up. Left toes in. Right leg back. Exhale, arms down. And breathe. Breathe. Whew. Breathe. Yeah, this is good. We got this. This is the next posture. Toes and heels nicely touching. Inhale, arms over the head. Only close your thumbs now. Hands in prayer position. Arms and head back, chest up, chin up, stretch your spine up. Nice elongated spine. Turn your right leg to the right, three feet distance between your heels. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this way. How can I do this so you guys can see me? Okay, this way. Turn your hips to the right, 180 degrees. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times to get two hips in one line and your two heels in one line back toes 45 degrees stretch up tuck your chin exhale go down look at your stomach as you go down rounding the spine touch the floor bring the forehead to the knee to touch if you cannot touch the forehead to the knee bend your knee like i'm doing fingertips beyond the toes you can separate your hands for balance, that's okay. But make sure your two heels are still in one line, you can actually see really well. And your back toes at a 45 degree angle, that's very important mathematical equation for this posture, for all of them. Three feet separation between heels. Eyes open, breathing normal, throat is choked, push the knees back, lock both knees, inhale, come up, arms head together, stomach again. Head up always comes up last with your arms. Turn to the front and turn to the left. Push your hips. One, two, three, four, five times. Two hips, two heels, back toes 45 degrees. Stretch up, tuck your chin, go down. Looking at your stomach, rounding your spine. Touch your exactly forehead to the knee. If it's not touching, then you need fingertips forward. Keep breathing, eyes open, breathing normal, throat is choked. Push the knee back, lock both knees, inhale, come up, push through the front. Nice strong leg, stomach engaged, head up last, turn to the front, right leg back, exhale, arms down, and breathe. All right, let's do the second set, toes and heels nicely touching, inhale, arms over the head, Right leg to the right. I'm doing the, oh, it's the other way. There we go. Right leg to the right, two heels in one line. Three feet distance, turn your hips to the right. 180 degrees, you wanna turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five times. Two hips facing the front. Two heels in one line, back toes, 45 degrees. Stretch up, tuck your chin, exhale, go down. Bring the forehead to the knee if possible. If you cannot touch it, bend your knee. Bring it its forward beyond the toes. Advancing students in prayer position. Hands in prayer. If you're more of a beginner, if you have a balance with a, um, trouble with balance, separate your hands. But make sure you try really hard to keep the forehead to the knee to touch. Nicely engage abdominal muscles. Engage means nice and suck in your belly. Eyes open, breathe normal. Push the knee back. Lock both knees. Inhale, come up everybody. Stomach again. Full lungs. All the way to the top. Stretch up. Turn to the front. Turn to the left. Push your hips. One, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up. Tuck your chin. Go down. Slow. Stomach again. Bring your forehead to the knee to touch. If it's not touching, bend your knee. Fingertips forward beyond the toes. Keep breathing. 
Eyes open, breathing normal, throat is choked. Push the knee back, lock on knees. Inhale, come up slow, stomach in. Full lungs, all the way to the top, stretch up. Turn to the front, right leg back, exhale, arms down. Nice and deep breath, turn around. Let's face the front, everybody. We're gonna continue now with two more postures and we will be finishing up with a standing series. This posture we just finished is extremely beneficial to the immune system, strengthening the immune system. When we press our chin down, it's a deep compression of the thyroid gland. We're doing a lot of stimulation of the thyroid gland, stimulating our hormones. Very, very, very good for not just our um, immune system, but also a hormone balance. All right, let's continue with the next posture, the standing, the tree, tree pose. <laughs> let's do the tree. Lift your right leg up. Bring the heel up as high as possible. High as possible. The sole of the foot is facing up. Heel as close as you can, as high as you can. Try to gear your heel towards the center of your body. You see where my belly button is? That's really where you want to gear your heel to go. As high as you can, don't let go. Gentle and slowly let the right knee go down. One day, you will have two knees in one line, like in triangle. This is a hip opening posture. Shoulder, hips forward, shoulders back. Elongate your spine, nice elongated spine. Separating your spine vertebrae right into the center of your chest. If you can balance when you're left and up, if your foot is moving, you can hold it. It's absolutely okay. And if you have a, 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 a very tight hip, you can hold it with both hands. It's absolutely okay. Or maybe your knee. You need to you give it your knee a little bit of a support. You can do this too. And then slowly, gentle over time, you will be able to get into the right place. So right hand, left hand, namaskar, focus. And change, slowly release. I always like to grab my knee to release because I've had knee injuries in the past. Yes, my knees, I'm very grateful for them. Let's do the other leg. Shift the weight to the right leg. Lift the left leg up. I always like to lift the leg up by first bending the knee, lift up using both hands to lift it up as high as possible. And then slowly grab the foot and bend your knee sideways and bring the heel up as high as you can. Very gentle. Let the left knee go down. One day, you will have the two knees in one line. You see, I'm not even there yet. Two hips, two shoulders, everything nicely. Facing the front, elongate your spine. Strong, beautiful, uh, spine left into the center of your chest. If you can balance when you're right hand up, but if your foot is moving, you know, if your foot is slipping away, you can hold the foot or you can bring both hands up. Namaskar. Concentrate, meditate, breathe. I like to send myself mentally gratitude, appreciation. Thank you. Change. Good. All right. Let's do the next posture. We're going to continue with the toe stand. The toe stand, only do it if you are very, very familiar with the posture. Also, please know your body really well, okay? If there's any kind of knee injuries, I would not recommend you to go all the way down because of my personal experience. I say, just stay in tree or maybe try only as far as you can. So let's see how much you can do, okay? Let's do the, the toe stand. Bring your right leg up, lift it up. Bring it up to the as high as possible or mid thigh, where you feel comfortable in this one. I like to bring my heel up as high as I can. Bring your one hand to the center of your chest or both hands. I like to hold on to my foot. Focus on the floor in front of you to really gaze down. That's where you're going. And then slowly bend down without bending the knee. This knee must be staying strong. Then slowly bend down. 
without bending the knee. Keep focusing on the floor. Now I'm gonna release my arms and see how much I can do. If this is all you can do, stay there. If not, then just come right back up. No big deal. Now if you're ready to go all the way down, reach with your fingertips. And if you're ready, get very secure in your hands, from your body weight to your arms. You see how what I'm doing? Nice and strong upper body. And just get on your toes. And your arms are really doing most of the work. Gently bend your knee. There's no pressure on my knee. Nice, gentle. Bring your hips down. Now let's see how much we can do. I can sit on my heel. Very good. Sit on your heel. Bring your hands to the sides. Balancing on fingertips. Bring your shoulders back, chest up. Breathing. Elongate your spine. And get your abdominal muscles nice and strong. Stay focused on your gaze. Left into the center of your chest. And only if you can balance right hand. Namaskar. And if you're ready, you can look up and stretch. Change. Slowly reverse. Bring your hands in front of you. Very strong reversal now. Again, you want to bring your body weight to your arms. And you want to push up. Now, if this is too hard for you, bring your knee down. Hands down. And now push up. Engage your abdominals to come up. And then shoulders back all the way till the end. Release. You see me? There, it's nice and safe. Whew, all right. Almost there, guys. Let's do the other leg. Grab your left foot, bring it up. As high as possible, a mid thigh, where you feel comfortable. One hand or two hands to the center of your chest. Focus on the floor, tremendous focus concentration. Exhale, stem again. And you go down. First, let's see how much we can do. Can you reach the ground without bending the knee? Great. If you cannot, just see what else you're capable of doing. Maybe you can go back to tree or just take a break. If you're here, perhaps you can go all the way down. Use your arm strength. Get on your toes, bend your knee, bring your hips down. Sit on your heels, hands to the sides, balancing on the fingertips. Keep focusing, shoulders back, chest up. Elongate your spine, keep breathing. Nice, strong focus. Shoulders nicely, shoulders strong back. Engage abdominals, elongate your spine, left hand. If you can balance, then only your right hand. Namaskar. Change. Hands in front of you. I'm going to put my knee down. Hands nice and strong. And I'm going to push back. And at the top. Treat release. See my hand? For safety, slowly. Give yourself a couple of nice deep breaths. Sending yourself some gratitude, some love. Thank you for tuning in, for being with me and standing serious. And let's stay focused on health, wealth, abundance, spiritual health, physical health mental health. I love you all. Talk to you soon.